All right, guys, so coming in hot and heavy and strong with a shaved face. And um, I was five minutes into making a video until I had to blow my nose so bad I just stopped it, if I'm being honest. And plus, I had my phone up there. This thing is uh, buzzing like a motherfucker, so you can barely hear what I was saying anyways. But what I was talking about, right? Look, one thing I've realized about a lot of people is that most people most people are consumers most people are consumers and they don't want to change the fact that they are consumers you know why because being a consumer is coming being a consumer means you don't have to uh you don't have to be creative about anything you don't have to think about shit. you don't have to uh, take a risk and expose yourself to the world in, in a vulnerable way like i tr try to do with my videos and so, what these people, I feel like, make an excuse by not being vulnerable is just saying that other people are lucky, right? So it's like, right now, my channel has 50 subscribers. I'm not making any money off of it, obviously. Uh, I get, I average maybe three views a fucking video. But for me, that's not what's important here. What's more important is the process of becoming someone that creates instead of someone someone that consumes i've been a consumer my whole life and at some point in high school with my senior year with ghe i realized that I, I didn't realize it consciously at the time but i wanted to put myself out there i wanted to put myself out into the world i wanted to solidify cement myself somehow and that came in the form of talking to a camera and so that's what I'm doing right now, obviously. But back then, I was back in my hometown, which I miss very dearly. But I was back there, and I didn't have the best friends at the time. And at the time, I remember I had two fucking Instagram accounts, like a fucking typical high school shit. And on the first account was, like, public. You know, I was trying to be the slick, cool kid who only uploaded videos of him, like, looking all pretty and shit. Now, my second account was a private account with, like, 100 people on it that I knew personally. And just, like, it was just dumb shit. Like, I just spammed the fuck out of it. It was a dumb fucking account and a dumb concept, too. Anyway, as I was saying, I would upload my talking to the camera snippets to my second account because I was too afraid of what other people might think of me. And as a matter of fact, I'd upload it to my story so that it would disappear instead of uploading it as a post, even on my private story. And at the time, not only did everyone think I was fucking stupid by doing this, but uh, like my everyone laughed at me when I started doing it. Just like my, who, who laughed? All my friends did, they made fun of me for even attempting something new and breaking out of my comfort zone. My girlfriend at the time made fun of me. And she, like, everyone was making fun of me for, for uploading these videos. And like, they thought I was stupid. Like, dude, what are you fucking doing? Like, who, who uploads videos, bro? Those same people would look at someone who's a fucking celebrity or whatever, they have a big YouTube channel. And those same people would call those people who have bigger YouTube channels who have who have obtained materialistic success or uh, the, or an idol of theirs who they look up to just as a person and they would call that person lucky. Not realizing that they had to start where I was in high school. They had to start by talking to a camera and looking like a fucking idiot. It's like that, that this, it was just this major disconnect. And why? It's because they were stuck in a consumer mindset. It's... Consume, 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 and you never put anything forthright. You never take a step. It's all just, you, you take the world as is, you open your ass cheeks, and the world just fucks you. That's it. That's being, that's what a consumer is. The world tells you A, you're like, okay, perfect. The world tells you to obey, you're like, perfect, okay, fine, like a good little dog. Which is why I hate the fucking concept of college and university and classes and all this bullshit because that's exactly what they do 
If you don't do this assignment by 11.59 p.m., you will fail this class. Okay, yes, sir, I will do this assignment. Please don't fuck me so I, so I fucking c c can stay safe. Please. That's the whole concept of fucking university. And then here's a degree and 80,000 in student loans. Go fuck yourself. And you're like, thank you, sir. Thank you for this fucking worthless degree. Now I have to go find a fucking job. Anyway, okay. Anyway, the, the point of what I'm saying is this. To break out of this consumer mindset, you have to actually break out of it. And the way you break out of it is by doing shit that may, that's going to make people laugh at you. Is you gonna, uploading videos. How many fucking viewers do I, do I get on my videos? Three, right? Obviously, it matters to me because like I, I care about my channel, right? But I don't let it get to me. It's like I look, I'm like, oh, man, three, three views. Fuck it. This next video is going to do better. And if this next video flops... That next video will do better. And this, you just keep have to chip in at the fucking major, I don't know, sculpture. You know, you just have to keep detailing every little fucking piece. And so the way I look at it is the price of becoming who I am and the price of expanding and the price of becoming expansive and the price of becoming uh, the like just the price of becoming right the price of becoming is having other people laugh their ass off at you right and that's what i mean when i say you have to be yourself like obviously please watch my last like a video i did like two two nights ago two days ago saying don't be yourself because it is a paradox where you do have to be yourself but you can't be yourself to some extent so the two ideas collide and so that that i explained the way i see it or i perceive that idea in that video so when I say be yourself, it doesn't mean like this new age bullshit of self-help and oh yeah, just love yourself. That's not what I mean. What I mean is go watch the video because I'm not going to re-explain it because I'm going to go off on a completely different fucking tangent here and I don't want to do that. Anyway, so as I was saying, so many of these people, they're just consumers. They're, they take, they take, they take, they never give. And so, like I said, the, the, way, out of, the way out of it is to create that's it how many people have an instagram account i got this like the, the beginning the seedling of this idea was planted in my head by a great man great man like awesome dude excuse me great dude <clears throat> he's called bradley on instagram i seriously recommend you, you give this guy a follow he's really cool shout out bradley anyway what he was talking about was this. He was talking about how... Give me a sec here, boys. Jesus, I'm parched. Yep, I'm back. What he was talking about is how many people on Instagram have an account? A lot, right? A lot of people have a fucking Instagram account. Probably everyone you know has an Instagram account. How many of them actually use it to create? Is it? None. It's very rare you'll find someone who actually creates or does something with their fucking lives, right? Most of the time, what is it? It's a private account. They don't really upload much. And they just try, they, they think they're living out this, I don't know, like mysterious vibe where it's like, in reality, I just look at them like, like, what's, what's the point if you're not going to put anything out? I'm sure maybe you don't want to, but it's like, really, what's the fucking point? I had this YouTube channel for years before I ever thought, hmm, maybe I should just upload a fucking video and get it over with. Like, if you go back to my first video, obviously I'm still learning how to talk to a camera, but if you go back to way back to my first video, I think it was called, like, how did I think, like, make the right choice of who you are or some shit like that. Like, you go back, man, like, my method of speech was so different. I remember, I, like, I, I rewatched that video, like, a while back, and, I, like, I was just so, like, compact, and, like, I was kind of nervous, and I was, uh, you know, like, uh, well, to choose, and, like, that's the first step, but you have to take that first step, because, like, the first year of my fucking YouTube channel was just, not year, but the first few months was just me being all quiet, and I, I was trying to, like, I don't know, I was trying to, like, get this laid back vibe but that's just not who i fucking am you know i can't help the way i am i i gotta 
I gotta express myself, you know, I gotta put myself out there. I'm not gonna suppress it. Anyway, I also digress there. Point is, if you have a platform, fucking use it. If you have TikTok, don't envy these people on TikTok who have a fucking billion views. Because they started from the same fucking place that you're at right now, probably. And sure, maybe they have a few, um, what's it called? Like a few, uh, advantages. Maybe they had a few advantages. Like these hot chicks that fucking make TikTok videos. They blow up overnight. But I swear to, I promise you, these same hot chicks, you know, they're like emo goth girls, especially like these fucking e-girls that are blowing up on the fucking, on fucking TikTok and Instagram right now. These same chicks, right? Here today, gone tomorrow. You know why? Because when they're 25 and they're butt fuck ugly, no one is going to want to look at them because their whole content was based around them looking hot. So what you want to do is you don't want, like you want to, actually produce something and have it grow organically right and so my point is is if you like i said use it use everything you can you have advantages over other people that you're not aware of your negative experiences are an advantage you know why because when other people watch it like oh, i can relate to this guy like you i can relate to you more than i can relate to this fucking hot chick who's just spewing off bullshit or whatever her political opinion or whatever it's like but this guy is real he speaks from the heart you know what i'm saying and so actually use your platform to improve your life to improve you and so at the end of the day if you want to become a creator in all aspects of life you have to actually create something if you keep mental masturbation, you like mental masturbating, you just learn from here, you learn from here, you learn, but you never actually take action, then guess what? You're just, you're not, you're just as, as, as bad as the, as the bitch boy who says salute to the fucking, uh, to the fucking university or to the fucking college. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. When you're taking knowledge and all of that, but you never actually do something with it. Point is, boys, is do something. Grab life and fuck it face fuck it fucking face throttle it but the point is do something that's it uh obviously i'm gonna wrap up this video as i always do if you do have a question for me leave it down in the comments and if i cannot answer it i will try to um uh, you know direct you to a source who can help you maybe and um if you I don't know, enjoyed or resonated with anything in this video, please do drop a like. It does help the algorithm and a comment as well because that does immensely help the algorithm. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for hearing me rant for, what, 13 minutes, six seconds so far. Cheers. Done.